All right, folks, how we doing today? So today is the 21st of July, 2022, and man, it's been a hot scorcher. It's from my understanding where uh, maybe about 75, 80% of the country are experiencing a serious heat wave. Now here in Las Vegas, you're gonna experience that from July, uh, June to about September. Uh, where it's been like about 116, 117, you know, uh, 118 with the heat index, although it's probably about 112, 113. It's going to be more of a triple digit, almost 120, especially if you're out there in the Hoover Dam area, Lake Mead. Okay, you guys are, uh, know anything about that. So, but oh, anyway, I hope everybody's had a good day today. It's nearing the end of the day for a lot of people. Hope you all had a productive day. So let me get into this Sesame Street thing, all right? I want to talk about this incident that happened out there in Sesame Place, out there in Lanes, uh, Lanesdale, Pennsylvania. I never knew they had a Sesame Place. So otherwise, I would have tried to got my dad, which grew up in uh, my dad. I'm from the East, too, but my dad is from Philly. I grew up in around Norfolk, Virginia Beach. Man, I would have got him to take us there, me and my sister, when we was younger. But I have been to Hershey Park, though, back in the day, a long time ago, when I was a kid. But anyway, these uh, two young black girls were refused a hug by the character Rosita, all right? I don't remember when they if they had Rosita when I was a kid uh, watching Sesame Street, and they got a big uh, flack about it. Right now, uh, the video's on Instagram where this character had turned her back on these two girls. And I guess now it's maybe some type of legal action pending, maybe some type of alleged discrimination or whatever, or maybe I'll call it probably prejudice, okay? That the character had came and gave high fives to other children of other ethnicities and then you know, turned her back, uh, her back on black girl, uh, these two black girls. You know, I'll just say that it's just really a sad incident, although that's what sometimes it constitutes. Now, it's easy for celebrities, I think, and also these characters to get around a whole group of kids that bum rush the character at one, at one time that somebody may be left out, Okay. But sometimes it's not about like the reality, it's about the perception. And I just think that, you know, if you get a job, you have a job to do as such where you should cater to as many children as you want, as you, I mean, as you can, I'm sorry, as you can, it may be a good idea to do your job, okay? But uh, the lawyer, the woman wasn't identified, but the story that I read was the lawyer I think her name was, last name was DeMar, would try to uh, pursue some type of restitution because she feels that the kids have went through some type of emotional damage. And I, I don't know if they'll probably work out a settlement or maybe, I don't know, uh, 10 years of seasons pa passes or what, okay? Maybe ethics training for the employees there uh, at, at that at that park or what, okay? So let's see how that's going to turn out. But, you know, uh, I was listening to a couple of podcasts. I was listening to Lisa Cabrera's podcast, all right, as I was just cleaning up inside my place. And according to the, uh, what she was saying, one thing I didn't know was Sesame Street Electric Company and I think it was Romper Room. I remember watching all those as a kid. You know, I'm, I'm a 70s baby. I grew up in middle, uh, May 71, where I was born. And, again, I remember watching those uh, shows, particularly Sesame Street. When I used to watch Ca uh, Count Dracula, I, I used to run, go to my mom. My mom would tell me that or whatever, okay, uh, because I guess they got rid of that, that character because it was scaring kids, okay? But anyway, that show came out in 1969 as uh, part of the Great Society, okay? The Head Start program. I never even knew that. 
Now, yes, there were white creators that had kind of created the final product and was able to put it out. I believe it's on like it will be on PBS if it's still on that uh, PBS uh, Sesame Street. I think uh, some of those other shows are not on anymore. But uh, these were characters that were in the black uh, in the minds of black people. Never even knew that. Okay, where I guess in the background, a lot of the houses look like the houses of New York, particularly like Harlem. Never even knew that. Okay, where many of, uh, but it does remind me of, of a lot of communities back home or like in Philly, where let's say like uh, I think it's Grover or, um, you know, you had a lot of the, uh, the uh, residents looking out for one another. Okay, or Grover. You did have that that guy, like that old man, sitting over there at the house across the street watching, okay, or maybe that maybe that homeless person going hanging out in the corner. You really don't see that anymore, okay. You got these neighborhoods now, these inner cities where really nobody knows each other, okay. But yeah, I remember Holly Robinson, Pete, her father being on that show. Somebody told me her father was on that show and played. Uh, forgot the uh the character um i believe he played grover if i'm not mistaken no gordon i'm sorry gordon uh he was a old one of the the guys a, a host on the show and i remember they had several celebrities on there myself uh, one of the guys i remember watching or whatever um and i saw this as, as a young man i don't know what i had what i was watching but david robinson was on there Okay, uh, when he was uh, a young draftee in the uh, in the NBA, all right, in the nineties. Okay, I probably turned it on to it by accident. My bad. But yeah, uh, but they it was several celebrities on there. But then again, Lyndon Johnson that started the Great Society, uh, the president uh, of the United States at the time, middle sixties, started the Great Society. Okay, as reforms and so forth okay and i've talked about the great society before middle 60s reforms and then the head start program which he concocted those shows uh different like that that came out of the great society so and again that uh it was a black woman uh holly robinson peace father i forgot his i think his name is matt and a few other uh black people from that time were kind of like the master creators of the show very very interesting okay and it's my understanding from time magazine around the late 70s and acknowledged that those shows were you know uh, kind of like inner city uh programs for like black kids you know a lot of uh stuff like during the 70s and 80s which they had a lot of programs, a lot of programs that they don't have today unless they're like privately paid for. They figure all these people's making all this money, you know, these days. So I didn't even know that. Okay. Uh, but I like edif uh, edifying information like that. I think it's very, very refreshing, you know, and you have a lot of tools that can access that. And before I leave this, I did my uh, research today, that cartoon man. Okay. Extensions that you want to brag about on your show Friday because you did uh, some research on your little whack little sir video. All right. So, what you want for that, sir? Huh? Because you did some research. What you want? You want a parade? You want a statue? Huh? You want a key to the city? You happy I did, did some research now? See, the problem is, see, you more concerned about your own image than serving the most high. All right. That's why your butt is in trouble. Okay. Now you getting into a scientist now, chasing after that. Hey, scientists and Muslims, y'all be easy on my man. You know what I'm saying? Because he's bigger than God. Now he's got, what, 650,000 subscribers. He's the key to life, okay? Nobody goes through the most high except through him since he's so conceited, all right? You ain't bigger than God, though, sir, all right? Get that, get that, uh... Get that through them thick walls in your head. All right, let me know what you think about this video, y'all.